12 auto pots, gravity fed. What's unique is that they don't top off until it's actually drained all the way down. It allows like an, an ebb and a flow for the dirt to get saturated and then dry out. So you, so you get that breathing for the roots, which they like. And then it was designed this way because we designed specifically around tomato production where we know we have to supplement. Okay, so we're back with Rob Tolet from the Aquaponics Source. And we're looking behind us at 12 tomato plants, very healthy tomato plants, uh, utilizing auto pot production. So Rob, why don't you tell us a little bit about this? You designed this system, if I'm not uh, mistaken, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Cool, um, man. Tell yeah. us a little bit about it. So this farm's a really cool uh, setup. There's another greenhouse here that's growing leafy greens, but this smaller greenhouse was set up specifically for tomato production. Mm -hmm. So, and because of that, we have a purely decoupled aquaponic system. Um, and in doing that, we chose auto pots uh, just because they could be automatically watered. We don't have to worry about pumps or sensors going bad. There's no electronic parts here. All of this is gravity fed. And so keep it simple, less chances of failure. There. Exactly. Uh, just so we're all clear, uh, when do electronic controls fail? At the worst time. Yeah, the worst Always. time. Christmas Eve, Thanksgiving dinner. Uh-oh, I'm getting a call, right? Yeah. So limit the amount of electronic controls well, production like this, this is the first time we've really looked at tomato production in these separate pots. So what types of things did you have to think about when you were putting the full system design together for the tomatoes and the auto pots? Yeah, so basically aquaponic systems are really good at producing nitrogen. I mean, mm -hmm. they produce other nutrients as well, but nitrogen is the predominant nutrient source mm -hmm. from your fish which is really great with lettuce and leafy greens and when your fruiting plants are going through their vegetative stage and they're mm -hmm. putting out green shoots and leaves. The vegetative stage would be green stuff, exactly. leaves, but not the red no, tomatoes, yeah, right? No flowers, no okay. fruit. So when we want it to fruit and flower, we need to increase our levels of uh, nutrients like potassium, phosphorus, hmm. maybe some other micronutrients. So what we have is we have an automatic top off coming from our aquaponic system for the bulk of our nitrogen. Okay. But then in this reservoir bar barrel here, we can dose uh, potassium and phosphorus, those nutrients I talked about. Or alternatively, uh, let's just say you're seeing one specific plant with a nutrient deficiency, we can top feed in here too. And the nice That's thing great. about it is that we don't have to worry about these nutrients getting back to our fish and potentially causing them harm. Right, absolutely, I love it. And, and that top feeding, which you mean specifically is by taking some nutrient and actually putting it directly over the plant, so targeted for that plant and those roots, correct? Exactly, very Perfect. correct. Do you have an estimate on how many tomatoes uh, are be able to be produced here? Yeah, I mean, well, we're looking at for each plant, you may be able to have, you know, somewhere between 35 and 60 pounds per year, depending wow. on the type of plant, the variety and the growing conditions. Year so, round production here in Colorado? Around, yeah. This is January. And look at, you it's know, January, around, so. I love it. Guys, stay tuned for some more fun videos. Thanks so much, man. Thanks, Paul. Yeah. Absolutely.